Hello everybody, I'm Caroline. I will now do um, a clear vet lab uh, with the Femto LDVZ8. It's a brand new application that we have uh, on our system. Uh, just enjoy the vet lab. First, I will uh, select um, on the screen uh, the parameters. So the doctor is already selected. Then I proceed to the next screen. I select the patient I want to treat today. Then I select the eye I want to treat also and the application. So here I want to do a clear treatment, so I select this one. Here for the centration method, um, we offer with the Z8 three different options. We have the pupil, we have the manual and we have marker. So if you mark the cornea with the software, we'll be able to detect those and to adjust uh, centration and cyclotorsion. So those are unique with our Femto LDVZ8. I will now select the correction I want to apply on this eye. I will now do a minus four diopter for the sphere correction and minus 1.5, for instance, as a cylinder uh, correction, minus 1.5 diopter. And then the axis uh, also has to be changed to the one I need, which is here, for instance, 160 degrees. I can also adjust the settings from the patient here. I can set the pachymetry to 550 micrometer, for instance. I have always a, a summary of the correction I want to apply to this eye and some uh, values. I can proceed to the next screen here. We offer with the Z8 uh, the option to have one or two incisions. If I choose one incision, I can decide to have it leading to the anterior plane or to the posterior plane. If I have the two, I will have then one incision for each plane. For each incision, I have some settings. I have selected a width of 2.7 mm and then a guiding tunnel length uh, of 0.4 mm. I can proceed then. Everything is set. Here in the vacuum screen, I have to apply a drop of water on the end piece and I will put the casing on it. Then I'm able to proceed and the software is ready. The eye is already prepared, um, is already under infusion just to get a little bit harder eye. So the big eye is also ready to, for the treatment. Then I take the end piece, apply it on the eye. Then I can apply the vacuum. The vacuum is being built. Once the value is reached, the target value is reached, I can say the NPC is docked and then I can proceed. Here we offer the advantage that under suction you can still make some modification uh, with the positioning, with the angle, so you can also compensate here some uh, torsion that you like or recenter. You can also check the incision. There is an optional OCT that you can have, if you would like, you can make an OCT picture of your eye. And then here before starting, you have always, again, a summary of the correction you want to apply on this, on this eye. And then I can proceed with the treatment. So here the cut is finished. I can switch on the light again and I place the end piece back. Then here I see the cut, then I will open first the incision. So here I have the incision leading to the posterior plane, here the incision leading to the anterior plane. Um, I open a little bit each of the plane at the beginning, just a little bit on both sides. Um, just to be sure I find them afterwards, after manipulation. And then I start with the posterior plane because of the porcini, otherwise it would be really difficult. So here I open first the posterior plane until the edge. Posterior, place, posterior plane is detached. Then I proceed in the same way with the anterior plane. I proceed with circular moves like that. I go until the edge to be sure it's detached. And 
and then I can come with the forceps to take the lenticle out. I can place it on the eye just to have a look if it's complete. So it's a complete lenticle, it's nice. And then I can remove it and have a look to the, to the stroma after the lenticle extraction. So here everything is, is fine. So that's, the vet lab is finished then. I thank you for your attention and then thank you again also for your interest in our application and in our Femto and Levisi 8.